Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss how to perform insertion into an AVL tree. The problem is, insert the following elements into an AVL tree 44, 17, 32, 78, 50, 88, 48, 62 and 54. And also explain the different types of rotations used in AVL tree. Okay. So, first what do you mean by AVL tree? AVL tree is nothing but it is a height balanced binary search tree. That is, it should be a binary search tree and also it has to preserve the balance factor. If the balance factor of the binary search tree is 0, plus 1 or minus 1 in the sense, in all these three cases, the tree is a balanced binary search tree. Suppose if the balance factor is plus 2 or minus 2 or in any other case, the tree is unbalanced. So, to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one, we have to perform rotation. There are four types of rotations we will use to convert the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one. First one is single right rotation and single left rotation then double left right rotation that is l r rotation we will tell it and double r l rotation that is right left rotation so these four types of rotations we will implement in an unbalanced binary search tree to convert it into a avl tree if the binary search tree is a balanced one then it is a avl tree so whenever avl tree is unbalanced while performing insertion, we have to implement these four types of rotations, whichever it is required and convert it into a balanced one. So, here step by step, we will insert element by element into a binary search tree and we have to check out whether it is a balanced one or not. If it is unbalanced, we have to implement the required type of rotation and convert it into a balanced one. Okay. So, first step. First, we have to insert element 44. See here, during insertion, keep in mind, it should be a binary search tree. What is binary search tree? The left side elements in a binary tree should be lesser than the root node and the right side elements in a binary tree should be greater than the root node. Then it is a binary search tree. And AVL tree in the sense, we have to check the balance factor for every node. If it is 0, plus 1 or minus 1, then it is balanced. Otherwise, we have to implement the required type of rotation among these four rotations we have to implement the required type of rotation to convert it into a balanced one so everywhere it has to preserve binary search tree property and balance factor property both if it is preserving then it is a avl so first step insert 44 so first node we are inserting so 44 this is the only one node and if you are checking the balance factor balance factor here it is zero there is no left child and no right child. Okay, so the balance factor is 0. And step 2, insert the next element that is 17. So, here 44 already we have inserted. And if you want to insert element 17 in the sense, compare it with the root node. If it is a lesser element, in, insert it as a left child. If it is a greater element than this root node, insert it as a right child. So, 17 if you are considering it is lesser than 44. So, insert it as a left child. And check the balance factor for every node. So, for the leaf nodes, all leaf node balance factor is 0. And for this node, number of left child minus number of right child. That is balance factor. So, number of left child is 1. Number of right child is nil. Okay. So, it is plus 1. So, this is a AVL tree. If it is 0, plus 1 or minus 1, then the binary search tree is a balanced one. No need to perform any rotation here. Next, insert the third element, 32. Root node is 44 and 17 is already left child. And now we want to insert element 32. So, now compare it with the root node 44. 32 is lesser than 44. So, it should be a left child. Okay. But left side already there is one more child is there. Now we need to compare it with this child. So 32 is greater than 17. So it should be inserted as a right child. Okay. After insertion, check the balance factor. Balance factor for 32 is 0. And for 17 it is number of left child is 
0 and right child is 1. So, 0 minus 1, the balance factor is minus 1. And for this root node 44, number of left child is 1, 2 and number of right child is 0. Okay. So, 2 minus 0, it is plus 2. So, when the binary search tree is unbalanced, if the balance factor is plus 2 or minus 2, the binary search tree is unbalanced one. Now, we have to perform a rotation here. So, what type of rotation we have to perform here? See here, we cannot able to perform a rotation this way because this will become the root node and 44 will become the right child. So, here if we are considering the elements, first we have to perform a left rotation. Okay. So, if you are performing left rotation, 32 will come here and 17 will become the left child of 32. So, here you have to perform a left rotation and then we have to perform a right rotation. So, if you are performing in the sense, if you are performing left rotation, we will get the tree like this. 44, 32 and 17 we will get it. That is first we are performing left rotation and then we have to perform a right rotation. Okay. So, if you are performing right rotation, 32 will become the root node, 17 is the left child and 44 will be the right child. So, now it is a balanced one. So, for the leaf node, balance factor is 0, 0 and for the root node, number of left child is 1, right child is also 1. 1 minus 1, it is 0. So, this is the new tree we will get it after performing LR rotation. So, here we have performed double LR rotation. So, then we got the tree like this and this is a binary search tree. 32 is the root node, 17 is lesser than 32, it becomes the left child. 44 is greater than 32, it becomes the right child. So, now this is balanced one. Okay. Next step, insert 78. So, if you are inserting 78, the tree is already 32, 17 and then 44. And if you are inserting 78 in the sense, 78 is greater than 32. So, it becomes the right child. It should become right child. Next element, compare it with the next element. For 78 is greater than 44. So, it should be attached as a right child of 44. Now, the balance factor if you are checking in the sense, the balance factor for leaf node is 0, this one, left child is 0, minus 1, balance factor is minus 1 here, 1 minus 2, balance factor is minus 1. The balance factor is 0, plus 1 or minus 1 only, so it is a balanced binary search tree only, so it is a AVL tree only, no need to perform any rotation. So, next we want to insert element 50, 50 is greater than 32, go to its right subtree, 44, so 50 is greater than 44. Go to its right subtree. 50 is less than 78. So, it should be attached as a left child of 78. So, now check the balance factor. For leaf nodes, balance factor is 0. For this node, it is plus 1. And for this node, it is 0 minus 2. It is minus 2. And for this node, it is 0 minus 3. 1, 2, 3. Right? Sorry. For this node, it is 1 minus 3. It is also minus 2. So, now we have to perform a rotation here. So, what type of rotation we have to perform here? See here, you have to perform a right rotation first and then left rotation. See, these four types of rotations with the example already we have discussed. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. Okay. So, first here we have to perform a right rotation and then we have to perform a left rotation. So, if you are performing a right left rotation, the tree will become 32 here and 17 as it is. And here only we are performing rotation. If you are rotating, 50 will be attached here, 78 will become its, will become its right child. Then after, the, after this right rotation, if you are performing a left rotation, 50 will become the root node of this subtree. And 44 will be the left child, 78 will be the right child. See here, now the tree is balanced only, right? So for all the leaf nodes, balance factor is, 0 and here number of left child minus right child it is also 0 and here 1 minus 2 it is minus 1 so it is balanced one after inserting 50 next step we need to insert 88 now we have to insert element 88 so 88 if you are comparing in the sense it is greater than 32 greater than 50 greater than 78 so it should be inserted as a right child of 78 and check the balance factor for all leaf nodes it is 0 and for this node it is minus 1 and for this node 1 minus 2 it is minus 1 and for this node if you are considering 
it is minus 2. So, here it is unbalanced. When you are inserting 88 here, the balance factor will get affected at the root node. So, here you have to perform a left rotation. Single left rotation you have to perform. And if you are performing single left rotation, 50 will become its root node. Okay. And 32 will be the left child. And 17 will be the left child of 32. Okay. And right child if you are concerning in the sense it is 78 and what is the left child of 50 that will become that will be attached as a right child of 32. So, 44 will become the right child of 32 and 78 and 88 will be as it is. So, now if you are checking the balance factor for the leaf node it is 0 and for this node it is 0 for this node 0 minus 1 and for this node it is 0. So, now the tree is balanced only. Okay. So, after inserting 88, the tree is unbalanced. So, here we have performed a single left rotation pointing to the root node where it gets unbalanced. Okay. So, if you are performing a single left rotation in the sense, we will get the tree like this. Next, we need to insert element 48. 48 is less than 50, go to its left child. 48 is greater than 32, so go to its right child. 48 is greater than 44, so it should be attached as a right child of 44. Now check the balance factor for all the leaf nodes it is 0 and for this node it is minus 1. This one 1 minus 2 it is minus 1 and for this one it is minus 1. This one it is 3 minus 2 it is plus 1. It is balanced only. No need to perform any rotations here. It is a balanced one. So with this tree next we need to insert element 62. 62 is greater than 50 go to its right child. 62 is less than 78, go to its left child. So, it should be attached as a left child of 78. Now, check the balance factor for all the leaf nodes. It is 0. So, this is also leaf node only. It is 0 only. This one, it is minus 1. This one, minus 1. This one, it is 0. This one, it is plus 1. Now, it is balanced only. No need to perform any rotation here. After inserting 62 also, the tree is balanced only. Okay. Next, last element we have to insert 54. So, already this is the tree and for this tree we have to insert element 54. 54 is greater than 50, go to its right child. 54 is less than 78, go to its left child. 54 is less than 62. So, it should be attached as a left child of 62. 54, left child of 62 we need to attach. Now, check the balance factor for every node. So, for leaf node, it is 0. For all leaf nodes, it is 0. And here, minus 1. Here, minus 1. Here, it is Z. Sorry, 2 minus 1 plus 1. And here, it is 3 minus 3. It is 0. So, now everything is balanced. No need to perform any rotation here. So, this is a AVL tree. This is a binary search tree. And also, it is a balanced one. So, balance factor for every node here is 0 plus 1 or minus 1. So, it is balanced only. So, it is a balanced binary search tree which is nothing but it is a AVL tree. So, in this way only we have to perform insertion into an AVL tree. Okay. Already the four types of rotations I have explained in detail with example. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.